Hey folks, welcome back. My name is Krishna. If you're new to the channel, welcome. So in this video, we're, we're going to talk about halftones. And I've made some videos in the past on halftones, but I want to share with you some of the techniques that I use that accentuates those halftones, kind of adds a little bit more uh, nuance, for lack of a better word. So we've got basically the effect that I'm going for over here. You can see that we do see some halftone patterns, but it's just also, um, it's not just one you know, direct pattern, but we're seeing a almost like a gradient where we're seeing some light uh, to dark, right? Even with this cloud, we can see some blue, but we can also see some white. And we're going to be focusing on that particular effect. So for the halftones, uh, I like to use um, True Grit Texture Supply, and I'll put a link to this in the description of this video. I'm using the Debaser for Photoshop uh, Comic Color Fills. And um, it's a great package. It's available, I think, in Procreate and Illustrator. You can look on their website and see what they've got. They've got a lot of really neat vintage effects. This video is not sponsored by True Grit Texture Supply. I'm just a happy customer. I've been using this particular pack for now, I think well over a year and a half, maybe two years. So we're gonna be using that, <clears throat> and I'll be sharing with you some techniques that I use to accentuate those half tones and give them a little bit more uh, you know, variation, right? Okay, so let's get started here. Let's start off by, we're gonna deal with this car. I'm gonna zoom in, move to the car, and what I'll do is I'll first of all make sure that I'm on a blank layer. I'll use the magic wand tool. And with the magic wand tool, it's very important. And the magic wand tool is available in the toolbar. You choose magic wand tool. You wanna to make sure the tolerance is set to a high enough value like 77. Uh, Anti-alias contiguous and sample all layers. Very important. And I've got a video on what these settings specifically do, and I'll put a link to that in the description for this video as well. So I'm kind of glossing over that because I've already covered that material. But what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna take the magic wand tool, I'm gonna shift select to add to the selection. Remember in Photoshop, shift adds to your selection. So I've got all the parts of the body of the car that I would like to color, and I can go to my patterns panel. That's located under Window, Pattern. So if you install the Debaser plugins and you follow the directions, you will see an assortment of uh, vintage comic coloring halftone patterns. And what we're gonna do here is we're gonna pick a greenish color. And what it's doing is it's putting that pattern on a layer, and then to the right of it, we have a mask. This mask, essentially, the way you think about a mask is that the white part is where the pattern is visible. The black part is where the pattern is hidden. So in this case, you can see based on the thumbnail here that the white part is actually showing us the coloring on the body of the car. And this can serve a couple of um, dual purposes. If I command and click on that mask, it makes a selection. So now I wanna show you how I'm utilizing some advanced techniques with these halftone patterns. So in order for this to work, I'm gonna switch back to my brush and I'm using the, uh, under the general brush settings in Photoshop, I'm using the soft round pressure opacity and flow brush. And I'm making sure that that size is roughly about 350. I might make it a little bit smaller, but you don't wanna use it at its default size, which is I think like 12 or something, cause it's just too tiny. And for all of the brushes that I use on a regular basis, I prefer to keep them as tool presets because then I can quickly access them from wherever I'm at. And uh, that's something that I think is super helpful. So I'm gonna make a new layer. I'll come back in with a lighter green and I'll just start to paint very, very subtly on the top of this car, on the hood. And you can see that we're getting that kind of nice gradient fill. I'll just do that here a little bit on the top here, maybe just to convey some of the roundness of that form. So now it's not just a flat half tone. We have a little bit of a change in value. We have this area where parts of the car are a little bit lighter and parts are a little bit darker. If I look at this in grayscale, and again, you can go to view, proof setup, custom, 
and as long as you choose uh, your device to simulate work in gray, you can toggle between grayscale and, and color. So if I hit Command Y, I can quickly cycle between grayscale and color. So I've got this effect taken care of here. Let's now deal with the chrome on the bumper. So I'll make some selections. Again, I'm using the magic wand tool. And now what I'll do is I'll come back in with my patterns. I'll pick a bluish type value. Now you can use these halftones in and of themselves. There's nothing wrong with the halftone effect, but if you're looking for just a little bit more subtlety, maybe you wanna make those halftones pop a little bit, then this could be for you. So again, I'm gonna command click on the actual mask for the bumper. And on a new layer, I'll say now pick white. I'll switch to my brush tool and I'll make the brush just a little bit smaller, maybe just a little bit greater than the width of the bumper. And I can come back and I can paint on the top. like so. And I can also take a cooler color and come back and paint on the bottom. So just because you have the halftone effects doesn't necessarily mean you're just stuck with whatever the default setting is. You can mix and match and expand your creativity. So now this bumper has a little bit more value. It has this shiny part and it has a part that maybe is um, receiving more shading. So if you found this tip to be useful, please consider giving it a like so more folks can find it. Um, stick around, I'll have a finished version of this particular um, illustration complete. Um, either I'll post it to my YouTube channel or you might be able to find it on my socials. Thanks so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to go ahead and drop a comment in the uh, you know below this video and I will respond to you. Thanks so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.